My name is Alan Hawes, and this is PSOC 101. We just did an I2C receive project. Now let's reverse that and transmit data from the slave to the control panel. I don't want to spend a lot of unrelated effort creating data to transmit, but the example is more interesting if the data changes values. So I will simply run the PWM slowly and transmit the counter value. First, make a copy of the receive project. The only change we will need here is to slow down the clock so the PWM doesn't run faster than the I2C bridge can send the data. Open the clock customizer and set it to 1 kilohertz. The I2C defaults to 100 kilohertz, so that leaves plenty of time to update the master. In C, we already have most of the code in place. For safety, we should make the buffer unwritable from the master. So I will change the second argument in the setBuffer1 function. In the main loop, I just need to read the counter value and copy it into the I2C buffer. The easy I2C interrupt handlers will do all of the rest of the work. Back in the bridge control panel, we connect as normal. Now I need a new command. Click in the editing panel and type control enter to create a new line. The new command starts with an R for read, then the I2C address. There's no need to set the offset for a read command. You just write X for as many bytes as you want. Then close the command with a P again. When you run the command, it will respond with the value of the PWM counter. Every time you run the command, you'll get a new value. That proves that the data is getting updated and transmitted, but it's hard to see how it's changing. Let's plot the data on a graph to help with that. Go to the chart menu and select variable settings. In the dialog, make one of the entries active by checking the box. Give it a memorable name, like counter, and make sure it's a one byte variable. Change the command to replace the X with an at sign and the name you just used for the variable. Now instead of pressing enter to run the command, press the repeat button. Click on the chart tab and you'll see the PWM counter incrementing up to 255, then dropping back to zero in the classic sawtooth pattern. To extend this program, modify the PWM to be center aligned. What kind of waveform do you think you will get in the bridge control panel now? As always, you're welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com.